you got to be careful. You don't want to get uh, down. Uh, you, you don't want to hurt people's feelings. Don't don't tell somebody that there's only one way to God. Joel Osteen said, "I'll not say anything that'll offend anybody." Well, I will. Amen, because the Bible said that doctrine is given for reproof and rebuke and the correction. God puts in power, read it yourself, God puts in power. Paul said the powers that are be are put there by, by God. They're put there for punishment, they're put there for correction, and they're put there for reward. Been a long time since we had one that rewarded us. The majority of them have brought us into taxation that is enslaved us. Oh, but we need, a, no, we don't need all this junk. Amen. What we need to do is return to what our birthright is. We have been endowed by our creator, glory to God, the right to pursue. Yes. <clears throat> Amen, but, no, I'm not going to get, no, I'm not going to. Paul said, I was a free man, yet I became enslaved for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Glory to God. You think we're a nation today that is free? You ever tried to go to an airport lately? If, if, if you ever tried to have my thing, I mean, a bale of uh, 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 seeds fell off out there on Camerlina last year, and they had the hazmat out there uh, with, with their suits on and their armored cars and all, out there picking up some seed. Courtney could have told them what it was, and they could have saved all that money. We're going broke of fear. Yes. America calls it, uh, what is it, Homeland Security? Amen. There's no homeland security about it. It is causing us to go broke. Why? Because of the Edomites and the Mobiites. That's right. Because we're afraid. Don't say anything about them. Yep. Man, they might come over and stomp on you. Well, I can stomp back. Amen. Glory to God. Now, the woman standing on the moon clothed in the sun. And Israel standing on the moon. Who's the moon? Yes. The Edomites and the Mobiites. The crescent moon. Glory to God. Now, the, the thing that we need to understand is Abraham had two sons. He had Isaac and he had Ishmael. Isaac had two sons. He had Jacob and he had Esau. And Esau married one of the daughters of Ishmael and became part of the 12 tribes of the Ishmaelites. And now we have got a tribal situation in the world. Esau said, what profit shall this birthright do me? Now the 60th Psalms in the 8th verse says that Moab is my wash pot. Glory to God. I'm 60 and 8. Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Felicia, Trump, thy because of me. We well, God's in control. That's all I'm trying to tell you this morning. Fear not. What are we afraid of? If we actually believe the Bible, then we know how what the conclusion is. Is there going to be war? Certainly, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars that always happen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Going to be earthquakes and fires. But when you see these things come to pass, lift up your eyes. We're fearful and afraid. Why? Edom is, uh, Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe, Philistia, triumph thy because of me. 
I can remember a, play, a, a player in the United Nations, the one world government, that took his shoe off. What, a Cooper Yeah. I'm going to bury you? You remember all, of, all that stuff that, that... And now we are no longer afraid of hydrogen bombs, nuclear bombs. We're, we're afraid of a bunch of bearded scarf Edomites and Mobiites getting on an airplane with something blowing up our airplane in the shoe. And, You know what the symbolism is? And that, that is a tradition of the Edomites, the Mobiites, and the Israelites. If you want to degrade your adversary, you take your shoe off. You remember when that, one of them that threw a shoe at old Georgie Bush and he moved over and it didn't hit him? And, uh, and George, we went to his monument there in uh, Arlington last week, the Rangers baseball stadium spent over $20 million building a stadium there with tax credit. Well, that's the horse of a different color. Yeah. God is in control. God is in control. Glory to God. Moab is my worst part over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, that, that's the Philistines. Now, now we're talking about the nations breaking down into tribes. The book already told us that. That the tribes on the earth are going to what? Mourn when these things start happening. That's what we're fighting now is tribes. The, the Muslims are not all uh, 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 homogenized. Uh, they're not all the same. They're different tribes. They, they have different rules. They have different uh, 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 mores. They have different principles. The tribes of the earth are going to mourn. Why? Because of Israel, I'm going to defend Israel from their borders. Hallelujah. Now we need to be concerned. Hebrews 7, 14. Our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Now, Judah was not spoken of by Moses as being part of the priesthood. But the Bible said that the child that is born, the son that is given, the government shall be upon his shoulders. And he shall be called wonderful. Not just an emotional type of a worship, but he shall be called from my heart, wonderful. Yes. struck him whenever we come before him. Mm -hmm. Counselor. That, that, that means that we're going to let his word counsel us. We've been counseled by everything else. We're going to let his word counsel us. And whenever we hear from him, whenever we are willing to accept what he has allowed men and women to sit down and write of what we call the Bible, he did it so that we could receive counseling. What are we afraid of? He said, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. <coughs> Glory to God. Now, I mean, just think about it. Whenever we allow the word of God to become spirit in our mind, in our heart, when we allow the word of God to become spirit, my words, they are what? Spirit and life. Not the letter that killeth, but the spirit that giveth life. 